everybody, it's Murph, and welcome back to the Murph Hut. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a random splash page each time you open your website. So, um, I'll show you what I'll show you what I mean uh, right here. So, if I refresh this website, I get a new splash page. Do it again. I get a new splash page. So this is a full screen splash page, and it looks pretty sick. And I'm going to show you how to make one uh, for yourself. You can add some headers and some text and some things like that if you'd like. I'm going to just just to show you what you can do, but you don't have to. So let's get right into it. First of all, let's open our text editor. I'm going to be using Adam uh, from GitHub or by GitHub. And uh, yeah, uh, let me switch the camera a little bit. So all of the code that I'm going to be making, I will be uploading to GitHub so you can clone it for yourself and branch off whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, you're just going to want to make a random splash page folder or whatever you want to call it, uh, which I already did. And I'm going to start by creating a new file. We're going to call this index.html. And I'm going to also make a new folder. Sorry, I'm using a virtual server, so everything's kind of slow. Um, I'm going to start a new uh, folder called CSS. And where is it? And I'm going to start a new file called style.css. All right, so now we have our index and our index.html and our style.css. A style.css is our style sheet, which we will be referring to quite a bit. Alright, so in our index.html, we're going to make our basic, like, HTML setup, so... Okay, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna use a package called Atom Beautify. It's amazing, and you should check out this package if you don't have it already. It's seriously amazing. So it just makes all of your code beautiful, and yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is uh, start actually like adding things inside of our HTML. So I'm gonna add a title. We're gonna call this random slash page. Obviously, it's not gonna all fit, but we can we can do whatever we want. Okay, and um, we also need to link our index and style sheet. So um, and then href equals uh, CSS dash what was it? Style no. CSS. <laughs> okay, and then we have those two things were linked. Actually, I'm gonna move this up, right? I think I need to move this up. Okay. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna beautify this again. I love beautifying everything. Okay. Um, we have that set up, and let's just open that space. And then let's go over to style.css and we can start making a little bit uh, called header. And this is going to go into our body text, which will basically make our like background cover. So background image, and we're going to URL, parentheses, semicolon, and then this is where this is where it gets really cool. So the website that, uh, well, the image that we're going to be like linking to is actually a website that automatically redirects to a random image in their like servers or on their servers. So I actually don't remember what the URL is. And now I'm gonna go figure out what it is. So one second. Okay, I got, I got this. So this is the link. It'll be down in the description. Um, thanks to whoever made it, uh, I guess, on splash.com, 
All right, let's get our background sizing. And we're just going to do cover. And one other thing we need to do is uh, go back up here, height, and then 100VH. All right. Forgot to do that. And I think we're good in style.css. Let's go back over to our index.html. We're going to call our header. We're going to make sure we get the end of the header. And uh, we can just start putting in anything we want. So random. We'll just, we'll just do that. H1. And uh, yeah, I think this will work. All right, so save both things. And we're going to open up the index.html. One quick thing before we do this, I forgot to add, is we need to make this. And we're going to do padding zero, ah, padding zero, and then margin zero. And um, I don't think we need to do pixels after that. But I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Pretty sure. Okay. So. Now, let's open the index.html and we'll see what we get after saving everything, of course. Okay, so after this, uh, after like loading it up, we get our splash page with the random header. And if we refresh again, we get a new splash page with our header. If uh, we refresh again, we so one thing I need to mention is by splash page, I mean a new image in the splash page. Sorry, just had to clear that up. Is that we have a random splash page each time we refresh the page. So this can be actually pretty cool. You can, uh, you can always have like a cool splash page in the background and it's not always the same. The only problem that I can think of is this this is this is a problem you need to figure out a color that can always kind of stand out no matter what uh, no matter what you like are going to you know like uh, put the splash background as um, so like maybe red we can try that so we can do h1 and we can do color and what color we could do any color we want let's just try red we'll see what red looks like make sure everything's saved and then we can refresh and then boom so that that red is red is a color that will pretty much stand out no matter what um so if you if you have like a red theme then then you're you're good you're good to go but yeah, as you can tell, red stands out and probably won't ever get too crazy as far as that goes. Um, Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. All of the links and the code and the GitHub will all be linked down below in the description. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask in the comments down below. And yeah, enjoy guys.